Hey guys, this is Coding with EJ and your PJs, and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue on the health system. So let's start by creating an image. And we're going to call that Player Health RBG for background. And let's rename the canvas to Battle UI. And just for convenience, we're going to set this screen space to camera. And then we're going to drag in this camera. This is so we can see it. The extra UI inside our create camera, it's just easier to navigate that way, but you can change it back after if you want. Let's change the UI scale mode to scale with screen size. And we're going to set this to what our game resolution is. So 1024 by 768. Let's not mess with this right here. Okay, so this is basically so if no matter what resolution we have, the UI will always stick to it so we're gonna put this back let's put this back to standalone okay so now let's create another image as a child of this image and we're going to call it player health bar we're going to set the source image to this right here we're going to make it a green color um, that's good now one thing we need to do is let's select our player health bar background let's put it right here and let's make it look like a health bar, something like that. Now let's set this to black. So now we have a black background for our health bar. Now it kind of looks like a health bar. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select here. We're going we're gonna go into this rec transform, hold down the shift button, and then click this left box. What this does is this sets the pivot point to the left. Once we bring down our x-axis scale, it'll go down to the left. Before, the pivot was in the middle, so it goes down like that, but we don't want it like that. We want it like this, so it'll go like that. Now, let's go inside our game controller script. At the top here, added using UnityEngine.UI because we're going to be messing with around with images. Now, we're going to turn all the integers and the floats, and I'll tell you why soon. But make sure enemy damage amount stays as an int. So these are floats already, so we added these as floats, good. I'm just gonna change this integer to random range 5.8. So the amount of damage that he does to us can range from 5 to 8. This is why we want this to stay as an integer, because we have it as a float. Whenever the enemy hurts the player, it'll go into decimal, like 5.6, seven eight like some super specific decimal number we don't want that we just want whole number so we're keeping that as an integer then under player stats i added a game up club public game logic player health bar and a rec transform player health bar t for transform because we're going to be manipulating the health bar inside this script let's create a start function I'm gonna add this in it so this is so whenever we go in the battle scene the amount of damage will do to us will already be random and not just like start at five or eight in the update function I'm adding this okay so in this line right here we're setting the transform of a health bar we're setting the local scale and then we're making a new vector 3 for that scale so right here this is the x-axis of the scale remember how I said if we bring this down then it'll go down to the left what we want to do is we want this to go down when our health goes down so what I did here is I've set the x-axis to be the player HP, so in this case 100, divided by the max HP, so 100 by 100 is 1. So let's say the player loses health and he only has 90 health. Since the player health is being divided by the max health, then that will make 0.9 since there's 90 health left, so it goes down like that. So it looks like our health is going down. And then right here, this is so we can change the color of our health bar as it goes down. So if the player health bar is smaller than or equal to, to the max HP, divided by 2. So if, this is one, right now the player health is 100, if it's smaller or equal to the player max by divided by 2, which means if the player's health is 50 or lower. But it says, and if the player is larger than player max HP divided by 4. And I'll tell you why I added that. But basically what it does is it changes the image to yellow. So as your health goes down, it starts changing color to show you that you're losing lots of health. This is if the player health is smaller than or equal to player max HP divided by 4. So that's why I included this. So if it's less than or equal to the max health divided by 4, in this case, 
the max health is 100, so 100 divided by 4 is 25. So if the health is 25 or less, then the color will turn red. And that means you're really losing health. Okay, now we need to open up our follow player X script. At the beginning of the coroutine, down here, inside this for loop, whoops, we're going to add this. So basically, every time this whole thing happens where he loses health, the amount of damage will range from 5 to 8. So it will be like the enemies hitting us from different health points each time. Okay, so let's go to our game controller. We're going to drag in player health bar for our game object. And our rec transform. Press apply. So now let's test this out. So I'm going to press play. Okay, so I go around the character. So now I'm touching the character, and notice as this health goes down, the health bar is also going down. So we did what we needed to do. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Coding with EJ. Comment below what you want me to teach you guys next, and I'll see you in the next video.